YouTube, it's Joe Gas here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make light beams in After Effects. Now, you could be using this, you know, to make it come out of your hands, or you could be using this as a preset that you could permanently put in any video. So let's get started. I'm going to want to open up After Effects. You could pick this up at Adobe.com, get the trial. I'll put that link in the description. Go to File, Import, File and choose your original video that you want the effect in. As you can see, we're going to drag this into the composition button and switch that to 100. And as you can see, this video is just me with my hand doing that. Okay, so now we're going to want to go to effect and trap code. Now, you might not have trap code. You're going to have to download these. Uh, just go to Google um, or trapcode.com if you so yeah just go to particular actually we're gonna wanna undo that layer new layer new solid make it a black and now go to effect trap code and now do particular now what this is gonna do as we move forward it's gonna bring in these particles guys so, and they're just expanding, and they fade out when they reach certain parts of the edges, but it's a very nice professional thing. So if we go to physics, we could change the gravity. Now, we want the gravity to be somewhere negative, so we get these particles flying upwards. And then, we could, you know, just push this to where you want it to go. Now, that's pretty nice okay now we can move that around and now I'll go to effect trap code and shine perfect now this is gonna be like the fiery effect right now we could choose the boost light which will bring up this main light at the bottom I like to have it there but very faintly so maybe a three that's nice now if we bring down our colorize menu, we'll be able to change the colors of this light. I'm going to change to a yellow. And you could change every aspect of it. The highlights, I can make blue if I want. Uh, the um, the mid-tone, blue. And yeah, as you can see, it changed that. But I don't want that. This looks nice. So, we're done, and as you can see now, it's pretty much like rays of light, just flashing. So now, what we're going to want to do is go to the part where you want this to come in. So right here, I'm going to drag this um, to this point. Now, what you're going to want to do is press T, and click the stopwatch, and go from zero, move about here, and go to 100. What that's going to do is make it fade in. Now what you're going to want to do is right around here. We're going to want to press P and that's going to change our position. Make it a keyframe and move it to your hand. Now we can keep on moving this until it and make it follow your hand or whatever you're going to be using. Okay, now right here, my hand's moving up. So if we play it, we're going to want to put our hand it up one more time. Press T once again. And right over here, we're going to press this diamond. And then move a little bit forward. And then change our opacity to zero. So now look what we have. and that is exactly what we want okay so now say we want two of them we just press command D or composition um, I think it is edit duplicate on our layer but that's command D for the Mac and now we could drag and we'll have two we'll have two duplicated layers and now this we want to shut off these 
keyframes for that, so it's its own layer. That just stays there. Alright. Now we're going to want to bring it back here because this is where we want it to start showing. We're going to bring it there change press T get the opacity key out make it 0 to 100 like we did before and now it's good and then remember move it up right here get our press T for opacity press the diamond move this up around here and bring the opacity down to zero. So now let's watch our video. And that's perfect, guys. So, what I like to do is just um, a good thing to do is you might notice there is the a line that's visible. If you stretch this out to the top on each layer, they won't be able to notice that line. Also, just for good, good effects, I like to go to New, Solid, Make It Black, take our elliptical tool out, and just make a dark shadow on the top. And that's what I did before, and I'm just going to press F for a mask feather, and we could feather that out. Alright guys, well thanks for watching this tutorial. I really hope this helped. To render it, just go to Composition, Add to render queue and press render. That'll put it to a dot move format compatible to YouTube. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it really helped. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a nice day. Peace. Guys, I forgot one little thing. In my YouTube video, I made the screen rotate when I had these effects come out. And how I did that? Well, what you're going to want to do is click here, hold shift, and click the last layer. That will select every layer. If we click R, it will bring our rotation out. I'm going to go to when these rays come in and press one keyframe, which will activate every keyframe. Now, if we move forward, I am just going to take our rotation tool out and pretty much just rotate everything to to, you know, um, just keep on rotating it to the side. In my YouTube video, I did a little bit more precisely. That is because it was serious, but... Now, every time we do this, it is making a new keyframe. And just put it right here. Make it straight. So now look what we have. This might not be too good. That's pretty cool though. And you may notice something. As it rotates, it has some black right here. And we're going to fix that up right now. If we go to composition and composition settings, we could change the width and the height. Now by lowering this, it will make the black go away. So we're just going to continue to mess with this until the black is permanently away. I can still see some at the corner there. We're just going to lower everything, keep on lowering it. I'm not really estimating, I'm just lower. There's still one little black on the corner there. Yay, it's gone now, guys. So now let's watch the video. That was a little bit too lowered. You could mess with it to make it more precise so it doesn't crop it this much. Now if we look at it, though, it gets rid of the black. And composition, add to render queue, and click render. Okay, guys. Now, thanks for watching. <laughs> and please comment, rate, and subscribe for more tutorials like this.